Hello, everyone. My name is João Souza. Thank you to attend this session. I will talk about uh, WebAssembly potentials, uh, performance analysis on desktop environments, and opportunity for discussion to its application on CPS environments. Introduction. Nowadays, the web has evolved to become a consolidated and ubiquitous computing platform. In this scenario, browsers provide us together the W3C design a low-level portable code called WebAssembly, abbreviated to WASM. This technology is a new type of machine language with the objective to bring performance for web application. But the WebAssembly specification doesn't make any web-specific assumptions or provide the web-specific features. And it can be used in other environments. This work has two main objectives. First, validate the performance between WebAssembly and native compiled platforms on, this, on the desktop environments, presenting an empirical quantitative comparison about performance measures of algorithmic execution. Second, raised the discussion of the potential use of Wasman as a semantic abstraction layer to develop embedded device in CPS development. WebAssembly Overview WebAssembly is a virtual stack-based instruction set architecture that is a machine language for a conceptual machine instead of a real physical machine and as such has many use cases and can be incorporated in many different environments. WebAssembly System Interface, WASI, is a specification in API can provide support to run WASM codes outside the web browsers. Based on this, pro on this specification, the WASM 3 in WebAssembly micro runtime would be built in uh, to, with the object to run WASM files on a wide variety of devices, including microcontrollers. To achieve the first objective in this work, you created the, the proof of concepts that consists of a concept program to reproduce frames from a video highlighting the detected faces using the Har Cascade algorithm from the OpenCV library. The experiment resulting demonstrate that for pro process routines, the WebAssembly at Chrome was three times faster than the native version. However, for the face detection, a heavy computational process, the native version was three and four times faster than WASM at uh, Firefox and Chrome, respectively. So, based on the results obtained, you can conclude that the WebAssembly has the real potential to provide the better performance of the web application, bring the web a niche of computational solutions that we are restricting to the desktop environments, provides the capacity to maintain the main base code of an application independent of the target architecture. And now, we will go to the second objective in this work, WebAssembly at the CPS environment. In CPS, the device assists users in several distinct domains and requires a strong interoperability. It's essential that devices with different architectures, communication protocols, and firmware work together in the same ecosystem. In this context, WebAssembly could solve of some of these problems. Based on the experiments and your researches, you can create a conceptual idea when to apply WebAssembly as a hardware abstraction layer when it's possible to have an embedded application independent of the hardware. And WebAssembly is possible to use in CPS environments. 
you selected your uh, three main facts. The WebAssembly micro runtime in Wasm3 Interpreter demonstrates that it's possible to write the same firmware for different devices and different architectures. WebAssembly has designed to have a portability, especially to the non-web context. And the WebAssembly has a numerous unexploited applications for the non-web context. In the CPS ecosystem, it can be used to build a hardware architecture layer or a trusted execution environment. Threats to validate. Existing main WebAssembly limitations is not having uh, at the time in this, in this work. Other studies indicate that WebAssembly can be slower compared to native code. As a fact, you haven't, you haven't applied yet to experiment or apply WASM directly in CPS environments. The performance problem can be a key, a key deterrent in CPS projects. Conclusions in future work. Conclusions. The WebAssembly versions of concept problem achieve a similar performance to the native versions. The WASM can contribute to the context of CPS. Tools like WebAssembly and WASM3 help it to use in context of in your CPS. Future works. You have plans to understand what causes the hard cascade uh, is, is lower with WebAssembly. Apply the proposed use of WASM3 and WASM has a hard abstraction layer on the CPS systems. Test the performance of the large set of algorithms that allows us to get a better indication of WASM performance not only on the web, but also on the embedded devices. That's it. Thank you.